Welcome back to Ion Radio. I'm John. And I'm Ken. And today we have um, a match for you that's based in the Galactic Civil War. That's right, John. So today we're, uh, I've got my uh, Admiral Screed list with me. I'm coming in at 400 points, got a couple Raiders. Curious to see how this works in 1.5. What do you have today? So today I have a fleet that was submitted to us on our Discord by Wild Space. It's an agate fleet with um, an MC-30 as the flagship and some Rogue Squadrons, some CR-90s, basically all the Rebel fun stuff. I think you're bringing your uh, special Lando Falcon for this one, too. Yes, I have. So I've, I painted up, if you've seen on our Discord, um, I have um, a Mel's miniature, like the Millennium Falcon from uh, Solo, mm -hmm. that I have. So this is the first time I've played with um, Lando on the Falcon. So with the way we're doing um, our new seasons, you can uh, join us with our Patreon if you'd like to support the channel, and our higher tier Patreons have an option of submitting lists that we will include into our next season. So the other option is to always join us up on Discord. You can chat with John and me directly, submit a couple fleet ideas there. Maybe we'll find one interesting and put it on the channel. So let's get to the fleets and uh, right to the battle report. Here is my fleet that was designed by our Discord member, Wild Space. It is commanded by Agate. She is on an MC-30 torpedo frigate with her officer Wayla Explosis, the title Foresight, H9 turbo lasers, external racks, and ordnance experts. I'm probably going to take a brace with Agate. Then we have two CR-90s. One of them has Janna's light on it, and both of them have on it turbo laser reroute circuits, so kind of your standard CR-90. Then we have two Rebel medium transports. The first has ADAR Talon and boosted comms, and the second just has boosted comms. So now for the fighters. I have Lando Carizian rocking his solo Mel's miniature model. I have Harris Sandula. I have Tycho. I have his best friend Shara two generic A-Wings, and then Gold Squadron. So I think uh, Wild Space has talked about the idea is the MC-30 to go in um, as first player, tank some shots, try to kill something and move on, and then let the Rogue Squadrons and the fighters finish up everything afterwards. So I'm going to attempt to try to do that, so we'll have to see how it goes. Okay, coming in at 400 points is my Admiral Screed list. So he is on an Imperial One class Star Destroyer. I've got Admiral Screed, Emperor Palpatine, Gunnery Team. I have a flag bridge with entrapment formation, hardened bulkheads, heavy ion emplacements, and the XI-7 turbo lasers. Moving on, I've got two smaller ships. Uh, both are Raider Ones. So the first Raider One Corvette has Iden Versio, Ordnance Experts, Reserve Hangar Deck, and assault concussion missiles. My second raider, also another raider one, has agent Callus, ordnance experts, reserve hangar deck, and assault concussion missiles. I have two Gazanti class cruisers. Both of them are identically equipped. Both have expanded hangar bay and comms net. And rounding out my fleet, I do have six TIE fighter squadrons. My general hope here is to use the Gazantis to push out the TIE Fighters and then leveraging the Raiders to kind of jump in, uh, refresh them with reserve hangar decks and attack the uh, other ships with the assault concussion missiles. And then we'll see what Screed can do on the ISD, just hopefully pulverizing everything in its path. So Ken's fleet comes in at 400 and mine comes in at 388. So I got to choose, I chose first player. Ken brought with him opening salvo, planetary ion cannon, and salvage run. I've decided to go with planetary ion cannon, and there's a reason for this. Opening salvo against a screed fleet sounds pretty horrible um, because all my ships are relying on the fact that I have evade and I can try to evade long range and reroll crits. Salvage run sounds bad because I don't like just handing points away for free and then having to fight with a point disadvantage. So planetary ion, I could try to avoid the ion cannons or just take one ion cannon blast and move on from that.
So here's my deployment. All of my ships are going speed two. I have my flagship here, and a gate gave me a brace. I have my two CR90s. The one that's marked is the one that's Janna's light. I have my two transports. The one that's marked is ADAR. I have two generic A-wings with Lando, Gold Squadron, um, Shara is the red one, and Tycho is the green one, and the uh, ghost is the ghost. Um, Ken actually had pretty much the same advantage with uh, deployment, which kind of backfires for me because I he got to put down his Star Destroyer last, so we'll see how this goes. All right, so here's Screed's fleet. Uh, I started out with the Gazantes and flanked them out with the Raiders, basically matching John activation for act or a deployment for deployment. Um, part of it was trying to figure out if he wanted to move from one side of the board to the other. So unfortunately, I've got I think Aiden's ship here a little out of position, but I think we can sweep in and take a couple shots. My Gazantes are designed to push the squadrons, so let's see uh, how the squadron battle goes and everything else. going to go with CR90 without a title. We're revealing a navigate. We're going to use it as the dial. I clearly have no shots. So we're going to go ahead and move. We're probably going to jump up to speed three and do this. Right there. So I'm going to activate the Gazanti Cruiser over here. I have a concentrate fire dial. We're going to take it as a token and comms net it over to the ISD and then just move forward speed two, overlapping a TIE fighter because I didn't think about that. But just the one. John, go ahead and you place that. We're going to go with this transport here and it's going to be revealing a navigate and we're going to take it as the token and we're going to move our speed to straight ahead zoom and activate the other gazanti i have a squadron command we're going to take it as a token and pass that over to aiden right next to him and then moving at speed two a little jig jag in front of the uh, debris field here. I think I bumped the you know, TIE fighter over just a smidge. Now we're going to activate Talon's transport. He's revealing a navigate. We're going to take it as a token and then we're going to move our speed too. So here we go with Aiden Versio's Raider. I have a navigate dial. We're going to use it. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and kick up to speed four. Try something here. And put myself right over here. John, you're good with that? Take a look. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Jana's light's going to go. We got to navigate. We're going to use it. We're going to kick up to speed three and uh, do this little maneuver. Right to there. So let's do Agent Callus's Raider. We have a concentrate fire. I'm going to take that as a token. And then we are going to move at speed three. I'm going to temporarily move this off just so I can get this more flat. It's revealing a nav. We're going to take it and we're going to jump up to speed three and we're going to use her missile to uh, fly to here. It's not as far as I thought it was going to be. I should have jumped all of my ships up faster at the beginning. All right, let's do Screed's ISD. 
I have nav. I'm going to actually take it as a token. So I'm moving speed one. And I believe I'm going to be just behind the raider. A yeah, little bit of room there. Start of squadron phase. Um, Sandula is going to do her thing. She's going to make both of my A-wing aces rogue. Da 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 da. And we're going to just start moving. We're going to start by moving gold squadron forward to about there. And then we're going to be moving this A-wing squadron forward to about there. What type of flak do you have? You just have black, right? It's all black across the board. The, I uh, yeah, black and blue here. Black and blue. There we go. Those are my two squadrons. Now to you. All right, so here we go. We're going to move this TIE fighter over here. And this one's going to go right behind it. We're going to activate my A-Wing. My A-Wing is going to fly forward and land right here. And then Hera is going to move forward and she's going to land right here. So let's get some of these TIE Fighters in the back. Forward sets one. Okay, so now we're going to start moving some of my rogue guys. And we're going to start engaging because why not? So I can move all the way to you. I'm going to stay outside of flak range, but be inside of distance one. I think I can get both of your guys here, but let's find out. Yeah, cool. So Shara is going to attack the further back um, no, let's attack the closer one. Okay. We're gonna attack the closer TIE Fighter. She rolls one hit. Okay. We'll take one hit. And then Tycho is going to jump in and land right here. And it's gonna attack the same guy. Here we go. For zero hits. Wow. This is why I don't play Rubble's fighters very often. I like that swarm reroll. Mm -hmm. So that's it for that. Now your final two fighters. All right. I want to try and do something here. Engage. I don't want to. So I'm going to push here. Okay. Let's activate. Lando, he is himself rogue, so we're going to move three out to here and try to engage just one TIE Fighter. So we're going to engage that TIE Fighter just barely right there. And Lando gets to roll a red, two blues, and a black. Let's see how well he does. Wow. It's dead. He kills Woo! it. All right, so this guy is dead. However, as clearly within range five of uh, uh, that would be Iden Versios. So let's see, reserve hangar deck. It has swarm. It's non-unique. I can set it to two. Place it unengaged. Distance one of this guy. So I don't want it. And we have what black flak here. So he's gonna go hang out over there. That is the end of the first round, and we'll go into the second.
Okay, beginning of turn two, command phase is uh, just about over. I'm going to use the planetary ion cannon. We're going to go after the CR-90 here uh, that has no name. So four blue dice, and uh, do I pick a target or a hull zone? Yes, you do. So we're going to do the front. Okay. And that's two hits, secret, and an accuracy. So I'm going to block out the redirect, and yeah. Okay, you can re-roll the crit. Okay. All right, so you're going to choose and exhaust one of your defense tokens. So there goes one of your... So I exhaust the other evade, mm -hmm. and then I take three damage. Yep. Done. All right, and then I think this is the round I'm going to then, beginning of ship phase, use entrapment formation. By discarding it. Yes, it will wind up being discarded. Flag bridge, I can't spend a token. We're going to activate first... Radar Talon is revealing a squadron. With boosted comms, I can reach all the way over here. So we're going to activate Hera, and we're going to also activate Gold Squadron, I believe. So Hera's going to move forward. That's maximum range. So then I'm going to start pulling back to the outside of range of the Star Destroyer. So it does have blue black. Yeah, but... But just one. Just yeah, exactly. Um, so I'm in range of the front of Yuru and outside of range of this. So I want to move maximum possible without hitting black range. Like that, I think. And be out, so we can actually kick it this way. There we go this way, actually, we'll go this way. So there. That's good. There. Okay. So I can hit you. You can't really hit me. Tons of shenanigans. And I'm going to then flip back to orange already because this is the one I'm going to ADAR before I forget. Okay. So she's going to attack the front of your raider with a blue and a black dice. For take a hit, I don't think she's bomber. So yeah, one hit. Okay. Okay. Now let's do some more uh, gymnastics with fighters. And uh, I think I left enough space that I can do the same thing, but over here with it. And then... Might be double arced if you go there. Oh, oh, that's so horrible. You're not gonna survive, so it doesn't matter. Mm. Okay, and then we're gonna bomb your front with two blues. So here we go. Two blues into your front. Wow. Cool. You're rolling accuracies today, John. I haven't rolled anything, really. I've done two damage on, like, tons of attacks. That's cool. So that's that. You're going to survive, so I get double arced. Cool. Your turn. Oh, hold on. I have to move my ship. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to drop to speed one. And we're just... Yeah, we'll go to speed one. And do that. All right, here we go. I'm going to activate uh, Iden Versio's Raider. I've got a nav. I'm going to actually use this as the dial because I have a feeling I may want to do that. So the only shot we have, this is at medium range from the Raider to the transport. I'm going to fire into the front of the transport. So that's two blue dice. And uh, let's see what I can do here. Uh, you can't scatter, take one. You can uh, re-roll the, uh, the balloon, the head. Great. And what are you shooting into? The front. Oh. Cool. Okay. And now, since I have no other shots, 
I'm going to go to drop down to speed three. And if I'm looking at this right, I believe I will ram you at three. Yep. I'll ram you at two, so I will wind up dropping back to speed one. Cool. So that's one click. I'm just going to swap that out with a one real quick. Temporarily move him over here. Put that down. We're going to activate Other Transport. Other Transport has squadrons, like a good transport would. And so we're going to activate two. We're going to activate two A-Wings. So what we're going to do first, I have range to move wherever I want. And you want to stay out of flak and range. So we're going to just move forward and engage as many as possible. So that would lock that down. Would I stay out of flak range? No, so that one can be free. And with that, I lock down the rest. Okay. So boom, 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 boom. So we're going to attack, we'll attack the guy on two health because that makes the most sense. Okay. Three blues. Or it's dead. Okay, so it's dead. I'm gonna use reserve hangar decks on this one to pull it away from you. I have to put it what distance one of this ship, right? Yep, distance one, not engaged and activated. Pull them over there for now. Okay. And then we're gonna move this guy. Out of flak range, and we're gonna attack that fighter right there. Okay. Four, take one. Okay. And then I gotta move. We're gonna drop to uh, speed one and do this. So we're gonna activate this Gazanti cruiser over here. Squadrons, might as well use it. So I get three because of expanded hangar bay. Let's start with this squadron right here. And we're gonna attack that A-wing. So we get three blues. And I believe we get some swarm too. Which I don't need. So there's three. Okay, I take three and then I counter you with you two. Do get the counter. Just did more damage with one attack than I have with like four. Counter says you take one. Okay. Alright, uh, let's try and finish him off. So, same attack. Just need one. I'm not even bother to swarm, so there's two, so he's dead. Yep, and then I counter you. Mutual two. destruction. So I've got one more, and I think what I want to do... I'm going to activate this one, actually. You are locked down with Shara. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and make the attack against Shara. This three is... He... he was not. Okay, so it's just this one? Yes. All right. So no swarm, nothing, 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 and one, which... Mm -mm 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 -mm. We will just take it at this time. Okay. And then super counter. Super counter. My crits count as hits. Yeah. I'll roll nothing but accuracies, but we'll see. Two hits. Two hits. And that's it, so now I we've already measured this out. You've stayed out of my flak range. Correct. So all I'm gonna do now is move. 
So I'm currently at speed two. And I think what I'm going to do is drop down to speed one using entrapment formation. Landing on the tie? Yeah, I'm gonna land on the tie. Where would you like that, John? I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. I think I want to try to keep you engaged with as much as possible. Like that. Yep. We're going to go with the flagship just because activation order really sucks right now. We're going to reveal it now, we're going to use it, and uh, I think we're just going to go speed three. Ken, do you mind putting a laser line down for your front arc? Oh, look at that, John. Yeah, it's just too juicy not to do. So we'll go speed three to there. And then I think we're outside of close range. We are at long range or medium. Are we at medium? No, we're at long we're range. Long. That's like the perfect spot for me to drop it right now. Mm -hmm. So just because it has no attacks. Okay, back to you. Let's activate the other Gazanti and I have a squadron, I'm going to use it. I can activate up to three, but I only have two unactivated. So that's gonna clearly be these two. Let's start with this one. I do not think we are currently engaged, are we? we oh, we are. Eh, we weren't because right, I you know, we were right. Move far enough. So we're going to make sure we're engaged now. So that'll be the move, and then we'll go ahead and attack. Three and I get a swarm. Two, let's re roll that with swarm. Three. Okay, I take three and then I counter you. Counter for two. Zero. Right, then I'm going to move the other TIE fighter. I can clearly jump over you if I wanted to. We're just going to bring him over here, so we're not uh, with Lando. Not that it's going to matter. Let's try and take it out. Yep, you're gone. Two hits. Counter you. That's cocked. Go ahead and re-roll that. Right, so down to one. Now I got to move, and we were looking at this a little bit earlier. And I think I'm kind of in trouble regardless of what I do here. So I think I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down to speed one using uh, entrapment. entrapment. And I know I'm going to take damage on the debris field. So I'm going to take that off the rear and I'll give myself a hull damage. There I am hanging out right on top of that debris field. Let's activate this CR90 that's all damaged up. We got a navigate and we're going to use it. And then let's measure some shooting. We are outside of medium range, so it's just going to be two reds and pray that they come up as hits. Two reds into your front, Ken. Boom! That's going to be a uh, crit, yeah, so and I'm not going to do anything else with it. I'm just going to evade it. Great. Just great. So we're going to drop to speed two and crank it like this. I think you're out of my... Uh... Outside of close? Yeah, in medium. In medium, but it is what it is. And we are at long range with that. Alright. Okay, let's do Callus on his Raider. We have a nav. We're going to use it as the dial. I'm looking at my options. I think my best bet's going to be to go after the squadrons. So let's start with uh, Gold Squadron out my side. So both of these are, are very easily within close range. So Gold Squadron, two blacks, and then we're going to Callus in <laughs> the dice luck have changed. I am going to not spend the, uh, the concentrate fire, so take one. Okay, this is your side shot? Please? This is the side shot. Okay, this is that right there. Yep. 
Cool. Okay. So now we're going to go into the front arc. Front, again, let's do Gold Squadron. So two blacks. That's a little bit better. We'll add in a black with callus. Oh, that's going to be three. Be three. Okay. And then we're going to make a shot onto Hera. So again, two blacks. And I'm going to roll add in a blue with callus, hoping for the no. Nope. So uh, I will brace it to two. Yeah. Boom. Or one. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Brace the one. Yeah. Brace the two into one. Right. Okay. All right. So now I got to move. And I think. Let's see, I'm currently moving at speed three. You do have a lot of control with it, so. I really do. And I've got so many different options on what I could do. <laughs> do the same cheeky move that I did. <laughs> yeah. Except I'm sitting here looking at it, and there's so many squadrons that haven't activated yet, and I don't know if I like that. I also don't want to wind up halfway to Coruscant going the opposite direction. So I think what I'm going to do, um, I'm really not utilizing entrapment formation as much as I had hoped. I really think I need it next turn, but such is life. See, I'm going to drop to speed two and do the inside turn, which unfortunately double arcs me. I don't like that, that was a bad idea. All right. We're going to go with my last ship, which is right here. It is in Janos. We got a navigate because I like control. And we're going to make a, is it medium or is it long? I think it's long. So long range shot from my front to the front of that raider. We did measure it off camera, it's good. And we will see if it does anything. So here we go. For We'll it's start good. with that. And uh, doesn't matter if I switched over to anything else, so I might as well keep all my evades. So yeah, take a hit and a crit. Front. Okay, let's uh, re-roll the. You cancel. Oh, I cancel the. That's re why I'm not. Cancel the crit. It. And then you take one. Yeah. And then your fighters are gonna come in and chew it up. Yep, that's the that's the hope. Then we're gonna drop to speed two, and we're gonna do this maneuver right here. We're liking the inside turns today. Yeah, they're working pretty well. And do I stay out of medium range? I do. Perfect. All right, time to go ahead and use. The ISD nav, I'm gonna keep it as a dial because I already have a token. My first shot's gonna be front to the front of the CR90. Three blue, uh, reds. Let's see what I can do. Yeah. Okay, you're just gonna burn through them. I'm just gonna leave it because, go ahead, evade it. If I change one of them, you're just gonna. Yep, so. Uh... We cancel it out. Okay. So that goes nowhere. Second shot, my side. I'm going to go to the front of your um, okay. MC30. I cancel both. Okay. With uh, foresight. So I use it and then I can cancel an additional one. So. Yep. Yeah. And now I'm moving. We're rolling dice. We're just not doing anything with yeah. it. Yeah. So I'm at speed one, and I can pretty much do whatever I want. We're just gonna drop to, we're gonna increase to speed two. I'm just gonna go forward. Which will overlap Gold Squadron. I think Hera will be fine. Okay, so start of the fighter phase. Hera says that my two guys over here can both be rogues. So let's figure out what we want to do. Um, it, some things depend on something. So 
Weird shenanigans with the way Ken ship is. These two are no longer engaged, but I'm still engaged here. So Shara has to try to attack that. So we're going to start with that. She's going to attack that TIE fighter and is going to do it with three blues. And I need, what, two hits? Two hits. So that's like a lot of hits. But I got, got three. three. Hey. All right, cool. Look at that. So what that actually now does is it opens up an opportunity to kill you. Not a good opportunity, just an opportunity though. So Hera is going to fly over to here and is going to attack into your front. Mm -hmm. So she is a blue and a black, I believe. Yep. Not bomber. Sadly. For you, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Hit. Really can't get much worse. I'm just gonna go ahead and take it for the for this one. Okay. And then we're gonna activate this guy. And he's going to attack into you as well. He's a black. Blank. Well, nope. that doesn't matter now. Cool, well that was fun. Um, now uh, Lando is gonna just fly over and do Lando things and shoot into your front. Okay. And he is a red and a black, I believe, or something like that. A red and a blue, that's even worse. Wow. Okay, here we go. Into your front. Four, take one. I'm actually going to force you to re-roll the red. Hit! All right, well, I guess I'm taking it. It's hoping for a blank. And that's the end of the squadron phase, and we're gonna be moving on to the next turn. Okay, so start of the turn, and I think we're going to activate Talon before bad things happens. So we're going to reveal a squadron. And because of boosted comms, I can reach gold squadron, which is really all that I need. And then activate this little bubble here. So we're going to move gold squadron. I should probably show you. I can move all the way down here and move right here and attack into the front of that raider mm -hmm. and we roll two blue dice and uh, i'm a bomber look at me that's one hit that's two hits wow um you get two squadrons to activate with the g or 75 correct Brace it to one and take it, and then hopefully resurrect ourselves in the next shot. And then we're going to activate Hera. Is it? Who? No, not Hera. We activate Lando. Because I need one damage to actually stick. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go with a blue and a red. Yeah. And I'm dead. No, you have an evade. So I have to do this. Oh, if Lando's not bomber. Correct. Okay. So when attacking, you can discard a defense token. So I do. I discard it. And I set this dice to a hit, and no. it cannot be modified. So now you're dead, yeah. because you cannot have me re-roll it. No, I can re-roll the other one, but it doesn't matter, because I need only one hit, so it's dead. And then I untoggle Lando. Yep, with Adar. With Adar Talon. And then we move going my a blistering speed one. And Adar did what he needed to before you raid me. We're going to start with the ISD. I've got a concentrate fire. I was initially hoping to do something completely different, uh, but there we have it. 
So we are at close range to the CR90 with no front shield. I just bumped that. That was nice and straight though. You okay with that? All right. Um, so that's three reds, two blues, three blacks going in at the CR90 into your front. Uh, blocking all your tokens, I think you're dead. I'm going to spend the dial just so I can use gunnery teams. Yep, I die. How many cards? Uh, that would be one, two, three, four, five, and I'll... You have to put in a dice. Do that, five. Okay. So now next shot's going to be front to front of that CR90. Same thing. Three blacks, three reds, two blues. Uh, let's see, that's blocking out your brace and my evades. One of the I don't have another one, do I? No. Oh, that's okay. So let's see. One, two, three, four. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to spend the blank or the blank red and turn the blue into a crit using Scree, which puts me at. So you'll have one evade. Yeah, that's all I can really do with it, right? Yeah. That's all you're doing? Okay, I've got no other dice control. Okay, so what are you blocking out? So I'm going to wind up blocking out, you've got an evade, right? I have or two a, evades. A redirect. A redirect. So it's both, both evades are being blocked. You can use the redirect. How much damage? Uh, that's two, four, six. Six, so I will redirect. You have okay. XI7. So before you do that, HIEs are going to go into play with the blue crit. So I'm going to exhaust it. Defending hull zone, each of the adjacent hull zones will lose one shield. Okay. Uh, I think I die. Uh, I think you might. So, no, it actually doesn't because it doesn't hit the front yep. one, each uh, of the adjacent. The defending hull oh, zone and the defending. And each. So yeah. that would so be one, 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 two, and there's how much damage? Six? So there's two, four, six total. Boom, done. Yep. I'm going to stay at speed two and do this. Bump Gold Squadron here a little bit with that. Okay, we're gonna go with this transport here and we're gonna be revealing squadrons. So we're gonna activate some squadrons while they're still on the board. And what we're going to do is, let's see, what's almost dead that we can get points from? We will activate Shara, and we'll go after uh, the TIE Fighter that is now back engaged with her. Okay. And we roll enough to kill you. It's dead. And then we're going to move, and we're going to be moving... here I think just outside of range of all your flak like that and then we're going to activate this guy and we're gonna be moving here to try to kill that guy because I'm single arced which I don't care about and you can't shoot me because of your shield dial <laughs> Is that even on the screen? There we go. <laughs> and uh, that's going to be three blues into you. Four, it's dead as well. The uh, guy over here? Yep. And then we're going to uh, move our speed one, and I'm going to overlap a bunch of things now that I carefully moved him there. Um, yeah, both these. Where do I know one of don't really want it. It's not going to matter because you're going to be able to put Rogue on some of these. You know what? That could be fun. Do I have them? No. Rat. 
that. So. All right, well, I'll throw them there anyways. Let's get Iden Versio into play. Nav, dial. Let me spend out the squadron token and we will discard Iden Versio. We're gonna put a squadron raid token on that GR-75. In the off-the-wall shot, I don't kill it. So I'm now hitting the side that has a shield up. Let's go with my side to your side. So that's a black and a blue. Uh, you know what? Uh, ordnance experts. No. So. Scatter. Yeah. And then we're going to fire. Um, you sure you want to scatter? Reroll. Yeah, I'll just scatter. Front to your side, two blues, two blacks, and, well, crud. Ordnance Experts, the black one. There you go, so that's, what, four, five with a crit. You're gonna spend out the scatter. Yeah, there it goes. So, no damage whatsoever. I'm at speed three. Drop to two, I think. If I do that, I should ram you. Okay. That, yeah, if that's a ram, would I go back to one? Yep. Just. No, you, your ship was not locked. You ram, you stay where you were. And so I'm still ramming here? Yes. Right there, right? Sure. Okay. So, you take damage. I don't. My very expensive flagship that's not going to do anything the whole game is doing a nap. We're going to jump up to speed four to try to get it into the battle. And we're going to do this. Zoom. Just like that. Okay, so I have the Gazanti carriers here. I've got a concentrate fire. I'm actually gonna use it as a dial because I don't need to spit it over to the ISD. We're going to attack Lando, who's at close range. So that's a black die. And we're going to concentrate fire in another black die. Do only one damage to him. He takes it. And then I have one medium range shot my side to the side of the uh, your other transport so that's one blue die one hit uh, you can uh, re-roll it okay for it and now I'm moving speed one I'm just curious here I think what I'm going to do is just move forward for the moment. The other Gazanti squadrons, we're going to use it. I only have one squadron in range. This guy's just out, so we're going to activate him. I'm going to go after Gold Squadron. because we don't have any escort, I get to shoot at you. So three blues. Two go flying out. Two hits, that takes oh. out. So all my shots are obstructed, so I don't get to shoot at all. How much health does he have? One. You can ram me and then land back on it. You know what? I think I might do that. So I'm at speed two. I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna ram you, which will take you out, and then I have to take, suffer two damage because I'm on the debris field. Correct. So I will take one here, and I will take another hit. That is all my ships. Okay, so for fighters, we're gonna activate Hera. She's going to go and attack this fighter here that's sitting in front of her. She's got nothing better to do. And she gets uh, two blues and a two blacks. 
for your dead. It's a dead TIE fighter. Yay! And we're gonna move. We're gonna be moving, I think, this way. To here? Something like that. I wanna try to stay away from close range nonsense from this, though. And that. I just wanna be able to jump on you next turn. Okay, and then uh, Lando's gonna go. And I don't know what I really want Lando to do. There's really nothing good for him to do. So I think he's gonna just go over here and try to kill your guy. Um, so I drop a red. Okay. And I roll in two blues and a uh, black. For one hit, so uh, I'm gonna spend out my thing and set that and kill you. All right, there's the gone tie fighter. <laughs> We're just gonna say he ran to do an asteroid, kind of like an Empire Strikes Back. And that is gonna be it for uh, turn three. Turn three. Let's start by activating this before it gets just murdered by a Star Destroyer. We're going to reveal a Navigate and we're going to jump up to speed too. And then we're going to do this maneuver. Right to there. Okay. Okay, so we're going to use this Gazanti over here. I have a Navigate. We'll use it as a dial. Before we move, let's flak Lando. So I got him out the side, one black for a hit. Okay, I'll take it. And then moving to the other side, I uh, believe this side can hit both Shara and Hera, correct? Yep. So let's go against Shara first. I don't think it's going to matter because we're probably going to scatter it. Scatter. All right. And then against Hera. Yeah. Okay, cool. You can go ahead and take your move. Jump up to speed two. Do this. I'm gonna bump tight you a little bit. Activating my last remaining ship. We're gonna be revealing a navigate, and we're going to use it. Um, I have you at medium range. It doesn't really matter, but I might as well shoot once with it. So we'll shoot into your side. And I think you have Palpatine. I do. So uh, we will spend a uh, evade for that. Okay. And do <laughs> one damage. And I block uh, a redirect because it doesn't matter. I'll use the other redirect and put it to the front. Cool, and then I'm gonna drop to speed three and do this. I think you have managed to successfully avoid. Yep. Cool. Okay, so let's activate the Raider. Nav, we'll use that as a dial. I have one shot at close range to the uh, transport here. We measured it out. I'm out of arc here to be able to actually hit the MC-30 and the one that is in range is not close It gets enough. really fiddly with uh, ranges. So let's just make that side shot. So black and blue against the GR-75, looking for an accuracy, no. I will scatter. Yeah. I don't bother with ordnance experts. I have no, I, I could fire, nope, you are out of range there because yep, you have brilliantly placed those there. Intentionally did that. So I'm currently at speed three. I think what I'm gonna do. Oh, I've got an extra click. I Force it. So I'm going to use the dial to. I'm sorry, I'm currently at speed. Yeah, I'm at speed three. I'm gonna stay at speed three. 
use the dial to get the extra click on the first joint. Move over here. Should keep you away from the MC30, at least out of the close range. Okay, the other Gazanti that's been hiding in debris fields, I have a nav, we're going to use it. I have no shots. I'm gonna jump up to speed three. And we are gonna do one of these fun little maneuvers here. Yeah. Put me right about there, John. Right there. Okay. There you go. ISD with screed. Nav, we're going to keep it as a dial. I have one shot, my side to the side of your MC30. Two red dice. Hit crit. Okay, with foresight, I use my readied evade to cancel both. Cool. Yeah, this is, we're going to see a lot of this. Yeah. So I think. You should have just gone straight into your face. It would oh, have been, man. would have been more difficult for me to kill you. Yeah. So, you know, John, I think, I think I'm going to try and get a little greedy. I'm going to drop to speed one. Okay. And I think, unless I'm going to ram myself, You're going to totally ram yourself. then I'm, I'm not going to drop to speed one. I'm going to stay at speed two because I don't. Last thing I need to do is give, give you, me this game. Give you this game. <laughs> yeah, I've got this in the bag. I don't need to to give it to you. I'm just going to move it. Yeah, go ahead. You're going to start playing bumper cars. Maybe we're going to find out. Okay. Fighter activation. We're gonna fly Lando in. And Lando can get to about here. And he's going to uh, shoot into your butt. Mm -hmm. um, and I get a blue and a red dice. And I need an accuracy and I need a hit. And then I need to roll another hit. Yep. So those of you that don't know, uh, there. Actually, that works out really well. Hit. Block your scatter. Well. I'll finish what I was talking about. So Lando's, when you set a dice, you can't modify it. Technically, spending a dice of any kind is modifying it. So not having the defense tokens to spend, you can't really spend the brace to set an accuracy because then you can't spend it to make its effect. That makes sense. Moving on. Okay, so re-roll the... The blue. The blue. Dead. Okay, that is a dead Gazanti. Right? Yeah. Yes. That one's gone. So that changes a lot. A lot, a lot. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to move fighters and... Oh, sorry. These are both row because of Farrah. So... They're going to move to here. And move them as far as possible to shoot into your side. I'm just going to move them all and then mm -hmm. roll in. You have all your defense tokens still? Mm -hmm. Great. And then here it comes in and we'll move to there. So like that. So we're going to start with uh, the two A-wings. So here's the first one, <laughs> and then the next one, hit. This is no bomber, right? No bomber. No, it's not going to matter. Uh, yeah, go ahead and reroll it. Or hit. Yeah, so Goes into your side. Okay, and then Hera is, what is she? She's a black and a blue. Black and a blue. <laughs> Ah, that's great. I'm glad I brought fighters in this. That's it. So that's all the squadrons and we go into the next turn. Yep. Start of the turn. This is turn five. five. So I need to get some work done here. I've just been toying with Ken this whole time. No, it's just. <laughs> 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 and in the next two turns, I will table you. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, so I gotta navigate because navigates are cool. 
and uh, I got a nice double arc into your side, so we'll take that in an off chance of killing you. And if I kill you off the bat, then I can do that. So we're gonna go with my two blues and three blacks into your side, and I need a total of four damage to actually stick. And that might be a challenge, so let's see what I get. Uh, you're dead. I'm dead. Uh, That's cause... four. You could have me re-roll that. I block your scatter. Boom. Yeah, it's it's gone. Wow, one shot, Jen. Woo! I didn't even need to use any of my fancy cards. No, see, I, yeah. like you said, John, this is where you're going to table me now in two turns, right? Oh, so... man. Um, yeah, that's something. <laughs> <laughs> Did not expect that. Um, hold on, I need to do that. Uh, yeah, and then I throw a blue at you, because... At the uh, Raider. Raider. Medium range, blue, for a hit. Have me re-roll it, or just take it? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna take, take it? it because okay. those fighters scare me more than your MC30. Okay, so uh, that's it, and then I have to figure out where I'm moving. And uh, I think we're gonna just move into the front of everything. Of course, my fighters are in the way. Do you mind just marking a couple of those? Yeah, I got two, and then we'll just recreate the ball off of it. If you're cool with that. Yeah, I'm cool with that. And uh, what's your radar speed? Three. So I think I'm gonna do that and kind of uh, jump kind of in front of you hmm. to there. And then the fighters can all go back. Like that. So here's gonna be my brilliant plan here. Unleashed. Raider first. Concentrate fire. I am going to flak all three of your squadrons uh, out the side. Okay. So that's two blacks on each one. So let's start with Shara. Okay. For one hit. Scatter. Okay. We'll do Taichu next for two hits. Scatter. And then Hera for two. Two hits. Phrase. Okay, so she'll take one. Out the front, I'm going to hit the rear of your MC-30. Yep. So two blues, two blacks. For five total damage and I got crits. Or are you not modifying anything? No, because every time I re-roll oh, okay. uh, a, uh, a single black hit, it goes to a blank. So. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we'll use Foresight to say that you can re-roll that double and the other crit. And the crit. Alright, let's see what we get here. For an accuracy and oh. the double. That really stinks that you got another double there. Mm -hmm. So we're at four, so we will brace it. Two. And then we will uh, redirect it. Uh, I don't need to redirect it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I'll redirect it. Okay, which side? Um, I will redirect it to this side. Okay, the uh, soft concussion missiles go off. So each hull zone adjacent to the defending hull zone suffers one damage. So doink. Doink. I'll take that one whole shield. And then two go in. You get two hits because you braced it. Yep. And then we'll move both of them over to here. Okay. Who needs tokens? <clears throat> so I am currently at speed three. What I think I'm going to do. Just leapfrog me? Yeah, just stay in your front arc. That should do it. So if you could, you're closer. Uh, 
Like that. Yep. That'll just give you the rear arc to shoot at. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna activate my guy way over here. He's got a squadron and he can activate at long range, so that's cool. So we're gonna activate both the A-wings mm -hmm. and uh, the first A-wing is gonna fly in and we're gonna sit right here and we're going to hit you with a black dice because they work so well so far. <laughs> uh, it's just something. And then we're gonna go here and we're gonna do it again. Into your side. Into the dice tray. For a hit. Force you to re-roll it. Hit. Okay. One hit. Okay. And then uh, the transport is going uh, speed two and will survive. He's gonna fly over here. Done. Okay, let's get Screed's ISD going. Nav. We'll use it as the dial. I am going to take two shots. I'm going to start my front to the side of the MC-30. Yep. So that's three, two, and three for red, blue, black. And let's see here. I'm going to spend the concentrate fire dial, or token so that I can re-roll this guy for a hit. And I think I'm going to, well, no, because you're not going to be able to. What does Foresight do again with I can, um, affect an additional dice. You can effectively knock three of my dice out, right? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna spend this red to make this blue into a red. One, two, three, cancel. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we're going to spend out my one token. Yeah. Your larger and foresight yes. say three. So both the doubles. Yeah. And the blue crit. Okay. H I. No, go ahead. No, because I. Those are you get to re-roll them because we're at close range. Ah, right, right, right. So hold on, let me actually count damage first. Leave the Put double. Put back in there. Those three. Roll those three. Perfect. Okay. No H I E's. No H I E's. Um, I will spend out my brace to half it. So how much damage is that? So that's. Six, seven, four. Four. And I will use my redirect, and I can redirect now to two adjacent sides because of foresight. So I do one to the front, one to the side, two to there. Okay. Done. That's all the damage. Okay. And they use up like almost all my tokens. I still have a bunch left. Bugger. Yep. Okay. I was hoping to get HIEs off. That would have been nice. Yep, that's why I did it. All right, so instead, let's go after some fighters then, because I used the um, concentrate, concentrate fire. fire. I can do gunnery teams. So we're going to attack, I believe it's a black and a blue. We're going to go after Hera first for two hits. Okay, she takes it. And then uh, I think it's Taishu I can shoot at. Yep. For one hit. I'll take it. Now I get to move. Yep. Currently it's speed two. And I think what I'm going to do. That rams. Yep. Move one? I don't even think I'll move one. So I'm going to jump to speed three. So you're still ramming. You take a damage. I do not. Because of your thing. So I took a hull damage. Okay. And we go to... Fighters. So uh, 
she will jump all the way over to here and shoot into your side with a uh, black and a blue and uh, see what we can get. For you can't use your green um, evade and that's one. Reroll it. For a hit. Guess I'm taking a hit. And then uh, this guy just starts flying down to here. And that's that turn. Okay. Start of the turn, we're going to activate a gate, and she reveals a navigate because consistency. <laughs> we discard Waylix to get back my brace just so I stand a chance of surviving. And then we make the shot that really matters. So we're going to shoot into the rear of your raider, which has two shields <laughs> with two blacks and a blue. So I need to do an actual four points of damage to get through. Yeah. So I need almost everything to come up as hit. Here we go. Well. Okay, so we will spend Axe Racks to add in. And then we will Ordinance Experts, both these. Okay, and then we take this with H9s, make it into an accuracy to block out your brace. And then you make me reroll so a double. Make you reroll a double. Hope for a blank. It's a blank, but there's okay. four damage still on the table. So that, that will actually take it down. So that's. It'd be what? Two to the two. rear. A crit. A crit, which is a life support failure. So I discard command tokens. I can't have any, but it's dead. Jeez, that, that my heart's pounding. <laughs> like it's actually pounding. Wow. Okay, and then just because I might as well attack your ISD once this game, mm -hmm. um, we're gonna shoot the side into it, into your front with two blues and two blacks, and see what we come up with. Out of the box. So block your brace and take five. So with five. I can pretty safely just redirect stuff. Yeah. So I'll push it over to this side, and then we'll put. Uh, oh, two. I have to spend a. Uh, yeah, you got to spend a toad. Yeah, I do a. So. Uh, so three there. Uh, I'm gonna put two to this side, and then the rest. The rest in front. front. Okay, and then I spend obviously a redirect because I got no shields. Yeah. Um, and then I try not to fly off the board and fly as far away as possible, going speed four. So I fly to here. Like okay, so that, unfortunately, I needed you to stay in front of me. Uh, nav on the ISD. Let's use it as a dial. I'm going to go after fighters because I'm not going to be able to do anything to the MC-30. So that's a black and blue on each one of your fighters. Let's start with Hera for nothing. So actually you can spend out the blue to switch with him if you want to actually do damage. Yeah, with Screed to do one, but it's yeah. not going to matter because this is the this is turn six. So she's down to two. And then against uh, Shara, you're going to scatter it even if I swap it out. So. You, really, you can't again. It's once per turn. Per activation, yeah. And then, uh, I mean, against Taichu, you'll scatter, scatter that. Scatter it. So, that's really it. I could fire against Lando. There's no point. I'm just going to move at speed three and try and just get out of dodge, as they say. Okay, 
And that's it for the game. I think so, yeah. I think I'll win by a few points. But right, well, we'll, we'll add it up. All right, we are uh, we're back. Uh, we are back, and I honestly think that might be the most swingy game that we've ever had, <laughs> points wise. Because yeah. midway through it, we were looking at it, and I'm like, I might just call it because I don't think I could kill enough for it. And then Ken's like, Are you sure? And I'm like, No, let's just play it out because mainly I just wanted to do it for wild space, so then you can see his fleet the whole time. We're kind of glad we did. Yeah, I'm kind of glad we did, and it just ended up perfect that your Gazantes like landed right in front of me <laughs> so I could kill them and then chase down. And at the end of the game, Ken and I were both going back and we're like, what could we have done different? Mm -hmm. And my opinion, if I were to have used my torpedo more of a missile into the front of your ISD, mm -hmm. I think you would have killed it. Yes. But you probably wouldn't have then have killed my CR-90s. Because my CR-90s I think got like maybe two shots off. I think they did a total of maybe two damage. And uh, the ion cannon really killed that one. The HIE was an excellent upgrade put on this fleet. Yeah. yeah. And no, I mean like the actual ion cannon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Because yeah, yeah, yeah. then I had no evades the, to the, do um, stuff with. Forgot about that. I only got one of my three shots out. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then we're like, what if this happened? And we're like, no, like there's a reason why, because Ken could have jumped his Raider to speed 4, but we looked at that and then forgot about it. But if he were to have jumped it to speed 4 in front of my MC-30, then I would have technically double R2, and then I would have guaranteed killed it. So you went with the safer route of at least putting the shield face to me, because it still would have been just in close range. This is all turn 5, 6. This is all turn... Like, there's, there's like three different games that took place. Turns <laughs> 1 through 2, yeah. which were uh, my fighters not fighting well, mm -hmm. your fighters starting up well and then not doing well. Right. And then there's turns three to four of you smashing me. Yes. And everything I had dying. My and then me killing MC your fighters, 30. except yeah. my MC-30s in a transport. Yeah. And then turns like five and six, it was like the MC-30s like, okay, well, uh, I'll just kill everything now. Kind of happened. I think two things happened. John said he was going to table me. Now, he didn't quite accomplish that. And yeah. then I said I was going to be greedy. So. Yeah, you said you were going to be greedy. <laughs> and then... Uh, Karma decided to come in, and it, then I'm like, I'll did. just, yeah, I need to turn seven. And However, in six turns, final score, 229 points for John and 170 for me. That is a 59-point margin of victory, which makes this a 6-5 win for John. If that Raider would have gotten away, I would have won by three points. Yeah. Uh, so that's how close this particular game was. And really looking back My and heart. forth. Yeah. Because if I didn't have that double on the uh, that last attack, you would have gotten away with I it. I would have gotten away you with it. You would have gotten away with it. Uh, so this, a couple interesting things that we were saying a little off camera uh, in addition to the tactics. Um, at first, we were thinking that my fleet was a pretty good counter against yours. And I'd almost say vice versa to yeah, an we're, extent. We're both kind of... So your smaller ships, the MC-30, is actually really good at killing because of H9s. Yes. And your ISD is really good at killing everything except for my MC-30. MC-30, yeah. <laughs> and my MC-30 can't... Even with all the extra tokens, I still don't believe that it has the stain power to eat two front shots of an ISD in a row. Yeah. Because I would need to... And so, actually, this is one of the reasons. So, because we had the exact same activations and fighter deployment, I couldn't then kill your ISD with MC-30. Because I would need to last first you. Yes. But I couldn't get into a range to kill any of mm -hmm. your other ships fast enough that I would be able to do that. Right. Because if I were to be able to do... If I were to drop in... I, I don't even think that... I don't think I would be able to kill it out, right, with that. I would almost need to have you move into me, eat a shot, fire, stay where I'm at, start the next turn, fire. That could kill you, and then fly away. 
You, you and that could have happened with the activations that they were. You really need the CR-90s to kind of come in and do more damage and concentrate everything on the front of the ISD. At which point, then, what do the Raiders do? Uh, it's, it was an interesting matchup. It'd be kind of fun to try this one again at some point. We probably won't. But, yeah, there's uh, so many fleets. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but definitely off the bat, uh, takeaway for me, I like this fleet built that I put together. I, I'm actually surprised by it. Uh, did a lot better than I thought it would, and then worse in some case. Yeah. Um, again, still decent, decent game. It was uh, a very close game. Big change, I think I would put a Kuat. We were talking about yeah. that, as opposed to the ISD one. That would have had a little change. Yeah, Kuats are, I think, superior. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed uh, this particular battle report. Please like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and in the comments below, let us know what ISD is your favorite, along, of course, with everything you thought about this particular battle report. So we would like to thank all of our Patreon members to help um, sponsor us. And uh, if you would like to join, there's a link down below with our Patreon and all of our reward levels for that. We also have a Discord if you would like to come talk to us. That's free and a great way to communicate and talk to some great people about Armada. Alright, so once again, thanks for watching. I'm Ken. I'm John. And you've been watching Ion Radio.